British High Commissioner to Guyana Andrew Eyre said it is critical for Guyana and other members of the 54 nation grouping to live up to the core values of the Commonwealth, one of which is good governance. This as Guyana observed Commonwealth Day. He said an important part of good governance is the rooting out of public corruption. The ambassador's comments came against the backdrop of the Public Sector's Commission response to the last Transparency International Corruption Index report. In that report, Ghana scored a 28 point out of a possible 100 to be ranked 133 out of 176 countries that were assessed. The lower the number, the more corrupt the country is perceived to be. But to meet that potential and for trade with Commonwealth countries to truly flourish, the Commonwealth needs to encourage those conditions that will allow it to happen. They must do this by removing barriers to trade, such as corruption, cronyism and unnecessary red tape. Until such potential is realised, many Commonwealth states will still need international aid and support. The UK's Department for International Development's Bilateral Aid Review in 2011 confirmed this to be the case. And to that end, DFID increased the proportion of bilateral programme expenditure to Commonwealth countries. Ambassador Eyre said the signing of the new charter which sets out Commonwealth's values and commitment to equal rights, member states could face sanctions for breach of the Commonwealth core values. He said the charter comes at a time when human rights and democratic values are being demanded vocally by citizens of the grouping. So we support the Commonwealth Secretary General's call on members to launch the Charter nationally during Commonwealth Week. But we recognise too that there needs to be mechanisms in place to ensure Commonwealth countries support the values they have agreed to in the Charter. The UK also supports the reform of the Commonwealth Ministerial Action Group as adopted in Perth, reform that allows the group to respond rapidly and forcefully to violations of Commonwealth values. We subsequently saw, through its timely and robust response to the political crisis in the Maldives last year, that the group can work in new ways and can make a positive contribution to international reconciliation. The Ghana government has dismissed the Transparency International Corruption Index report, with Finance Minister Dr. Ashni Singh saying that the government has taken significant and commendable measures to strengthen its institutions and legislation that 